In this question, we're asked to find angle x, showing all of our working very carefully. Now, to do this, we gradually find angles within the diagram. Now, the first thing that I observe is that this here is a z, and these two lines here are parallel. So I therefore know this angle here. It's a z, so it must be 38 degrees. Now this angle here, A to E to D, so angle A, E, D equals 38 because it's alternate. That's the posh way to say a z angle. So I found out this angle here is 38 degrees. I then notice these two dashes. This means that that line and that line are the same length. So this is an isosceles triangle. So I can therefore find out what these two angles here are, because if those two lines are the same, then those two angles there must also be the same. Right then, it's a triangle. So 180 take away 38 gives me 142 degrees. So to find these two angles, I do 142 divided by 2, which is 71 degrees. So if I call these y, then y must equal 71 degrees. And again, I knew they were the same, because these two dashes meant it was an isosceles triangle. I can therefore finish off by finding x, because x and y are on a straight line, and they meet at a point. So they add to 180 degrees. So x will be 180 degrees, take away y, which is 71, so x will equal 109 degrees.